In this video, we are going to learn how to find the area of a parallelogram. First, let's review what a parallelogram is. It's a quadrilateral. That means it has four sides. And the definition is its opposite sides are parallel. We're going to think about two different dimensions of this parallelogram. Its base, which is the length of this side, and also the length of this side and its height, which is not the length of the other side, but actually the distance between the two bases. So this would be the height. Now what we're gonna to try to show is that the area of a parallelogram is base times height, just like the area of a rectangle. And here's the basic idea why. If you notice the way I've drawn in the height, we have this triangle over here. Now what would happen if we took this triangle and imagined cutting it off and replacing it on the other side of the parallelogram over here. What we would end up with is a rectangle. So if we took this triangle and just inserted it back over here, we'd end up with a rectangle that looked like this. And we know that the area of a rectangle is base times height, so therefore the area of the parallelogram must also be base times height. The trick is you have to remember that the height is not the length of the other side. The height is the distance between the two sides. So one mistake people will make with a parallelogram is to just figure out the length of each side and multiply them, and that would give you the wrong answer. So let's say we had a parallelogram, and we knew that its base was 10 units, and its height was 8 units. Then its area would be 10 times 8, or 80 units squared. Remember that our units for area are always units squared. So if it was centimeters, it would be centimeters squared, inches, inches squared. And this is how you get your answer. And again, remember why this works is because you can easily turn a parallelogram into a rectangle by chopping off the triangle from one end and replacing it on the other side. And then you've turned your parallelogram into a rectangle that is has the same area as the original parallelogram did because it has all the same shapes making it up. So the area of a parallelogram is just base times height, just like the area of a rectangle.